Every day I check the price, bad price. I can't take this anymore, man. I have overinvested by a lot. It is what it is, but I need the price to go up. Can devs do something? GM, ladies and gentlemen. So in this one, we're taking a look at the recent news here that Binance's B&B chain has a layer two environment testnet open on Optimism right now. So we're gonna try and answer the why, when, and what the heck is going on with this in today's video. So if you enjoy it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So this was teased last week. We saw the promo video 19th of June, 2023, something was coming, a layer two environment of sorts. And it seems that today it has been confirmed here that it is an optimism layer two scaling solution being launched by BNB chain. So it says developers expect the OP BNB blockchain as it's being named here. So OP BNB, something to get used to here. It'll be able to reach speeds of up to 4,000 TPS at a target cost of half of a penny per transaction. So considerably bringing down the costs. I'm not exactly sure of the current costs over on BNB chain. The last time I used BNB chain was during this past week, however, and I paid around 20 cents for a transaction. And so this will be 1 40th of that cost, which of course is gonna be good for a lot of applications. So here was the tweet thread. They actually posted BNB chain direct. As blockchain tech continues to evolve, scalability remains a critical challenge. Now, fear not, they say, enter OP BNB, a game-changing layer two scaling solution designed to overcome the limitations of L1 networks. So this is quite strange in terms of a timing because at the moment, Binance Chain is not overused. It isn't congested at this moment in time, but obviously they're looking ahead to, you know, future market cycles where we get a lot of newbies. And the thread continues here, OP BNB leverages the power of the BSC network and will provide developers with a robust tool set to achieve high throughput, low fees and seamless scalability. This layer two unlocks limitless potentials for decentralized applications. Now reading through other documentation, there's a full blog post as well. They mention gaming as one of the key areas they want to utilize this for. So in terms of that why, it seems to me that they've built a plug and play environment over on Optimism with which their developers can just tap into. So the ability to port a dApp from BNB chain as is now to this newer, cheaper, faster environment. This would go hand in hand with the thesis that they want to have games on here. If they can get some hit games on the BSC network as is, it would probably be too resource intensive to actually do that and too expensive to run the games. But with this network, presumably it will become a lot more cost efficient and thus less resource intensive. They state OPBNB achieves scalability without compromising decentralization. Quite a funny term to use from a centralized chain. Nonetheless, we continue. Again, they're aggressively stating high performance decentralized applications can be built on this network. Maybe they've got something coming up or maybe they've got a suite of games they've invested in that they need this architecture for. I'm thinking we need to read between the lines here and they have made this for a particular reason and it's something we can't currently see. You know, the chains aren't congested at this moment in time. We're not flush with new users, but presumably there's something going on in the background here that means they need this shipped now or potentially this is just them forward looking into the bull markets. So here we have the first look at the actual website here, the BNB chain, opbnb.bnbchain.org is the web address. I'll leave it in the description down below. You can see there's developer resources up here, ecosystem information, there's nothing currently live and active. Obviously this is in testnet currently, and you can see some of the other networks they're actually building out. I'll show you a little post of that in just a sec. If we just go down and optimize layer two solution, it delivers lower fees and higher throughput to unlock the full potential of the BNB chain. This has full EVM compatibility. Maybe they'll get some developers to come over from other networks as maybe BSC chain is less of a pull to them, but the fact they launch on top of optimism, maybe they can get more developer attention. Maybe that is one of the business reasons behind this. As stated, native integration with the BNB ecosystem. So easy to port their current dApps over. And in the yellow over here, they state gaming, decentralized exchanges and daily use as digital collectibles as some of the areas that they're targeting. Maybe with what we've seen recently around digital identification, maybe that could plug into this ecosystem, but I'm not entirely sure the exact reasons as to why this has launched now, but it certainly is interesting nonetheless to see both Binance launch onto 
the OP network, and of course we have Base from Coinbase also launching on there during this summer. Now if you come down past documentation to bridge and click on that, we can see this is the OP BNB bridge. And so if you can get some testnet funds from the BNB smart chain, you can bridge them over to the OP BNB testnet. Now I did just have a look and the actual faucet for this was not working. So if you've got any ideas where I can get some faucet tokens and get testnet funds across to this, or if there's a faucet directly for this one, hit me up in the comments down below. I think it will be worthwhile playing around with this. You never know what might happen in the future, an NFT drop or something for early adopters. So I will have a little blast on this. If I find anything cool, I will do an update video. But as for now, pretty much all you can see on screen here, not a lot to do. The test net though is open. Now it states this BNB chain, an ecosystem of blockchains. They have four blockchains in the pipeline, a programmable layer just behind my head, BNB Greenfield for data storage. Then the rollup we see today just released optimistic rollup, a layer two fraud proof rollup architecture. They've got a ZK rollup in the pipeline and also a beacon chain for staking and governance here. So it looks like BSC will become a bit of a sharded chain across various use cases. So the chart here of BNB on the left, no real pump up from this news. Optimism on the other hand did have a bit of a pump here off the back of this and reading between the lines here it does seem that this is a bit more bullish for OP rather than the BNB token or the BSC network as this essentially brings more traffic more TVL over to Optimism so I am kind of bullish on Optimism for this fact. You can also see recently Optimism went through the Bedrock upgrade and that reduced their actual transaction costs by around 50%. So that was prior using the legacy system. And then after the Bedrock update, you can see it did drop down significantly and those gas fees were halved. Blockworks Research also did a quick update here. Some of the milestones for Optimism. We have build on base. So that is the Coinbase layer two environment for DeFi coming to Optimism apparently by the end of this summer. Again, they show the L2 transactions coming down significantly. This makes it very cheap, cheaper than Arbitrum now and close to one of the cheaper chains, which is Matis. As a result of Bedrock as well, the actual deposit times to the chain have shortened significantly. And as we can see further down the thread here on June the 1st, there were half a million dollars worth of OP tokens that entered circulation but it didn't affect the price all that badly, to be honest with you, even though that's a doubling of the supply. And this points to the fact that as more OP stack chains deploy, sequencer revenues could rise as well. So this could be a highly profitable chain and not just Coinbase listing on here as well. Think about this one, WorldCoin, the one that wants to scan your eyeball by Sam Altman and co. They're also building out on the OP stack. So quick comparison here, Optimism has a market cap of around $700 million, fully diluted just under 5 billion. Arbitrum is at 1.2, almost 1.3 billion dollars there in market cap fully diluted almost double that of OPs at almost 10 bill and then Polygon has a current circulating market cap of around 5.5 and fully diluted at around six billion dollars. So looking at some of these L2 environments it does seem that this one has quite a lot of bullish catalysts in the pipeline here when compared to the competition. So drop me a comment down below what do you make of this BNB chain launch over on the Optimism stack? Is this a bit of a strange one or do you think this is a strategic move? to try and make BNB chain a bit more decentralized, you know, rub shoulders with the likes of Ethereum here and get a bit of kudos from that. Do you also think like me potentially that this is them trying to diversify themselves as much as possible? As we've seen recently, regulatory FUD has been rife. If they can get themselves with a DeFi ecosystem onto a brand new, more decentralized chain, if for whatever reason, the worst comes to the worst and Gensler and co want to try and shut down, say BSC original, can they therefore survive and have another arm here over on OP? That sounds like some Armageddon shit, but you never know. Maybe that's what they're thinking about. So drop me a comment down below, conspiracies and all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.